I, I want to ask the last question. I had, I had an option of one for the last question. I was going to ask you the big question, but I can ask you that another time. I, you know, I was going to ask you about football because <laughs> I think people like to show you pictures of Sankara kicking a ball, holding a ball in his hand. Uh, you know, um, I can think of who else. Um, uh, Zuma <laughs> in the shorts <laughs> during the World Cup. But what a lot of people don't know is how much Kenneth Kawunda is is uh, associated with with uh, with football and with, with and, and uh, you maybe you could just tell that story a little bit of that little story because I was telling you before the program I think it was ironic that somebody who was so associated with with Zambia's success with football and I forgot something which I know you're going to remind me of I said that it all leads up to 1988 in, uh, in Seoul. Yeah. When they when they beat Italy, when the when the national team led by Buala, by the way, Kalusa Buala, young Kalusa Buala, yeah. Yeah. they beat Italy of Dino Zoff and them, I think yeah. they beat yes. a really Italian football team that's still going to have go to the World Cup, the next World Cup. So yeah. that's that's that for me is like the high point of Kaunda's football legacy. <laughs> but you reminded me it was a little earlier, and yeah. I also think it's interesting that. Right after him, then that team, you know, that's the team that the team of '88 is the, is the players who die in the in the plane accident, um, and then only is it 2012 when Zambia finally makes true on the potential of of the national team and they win the the African um, uh, Cup of Nations. But can you just like for because you know people say there's too much football on this program, but it doesn't stop us. <laughs> <I know. laughs> can you, can you just quickly, I mean, as we see these glorious photos of of Kaunda doing some keepy, as people call it, uh, keepy upy. Some people call it. <laughs> I, I don't know you, call it tap, you are tapping. Kaunda yeah. is tapping. Um, can you just say something about him and football? I mean. Uh... Football is life, Sean. So football is life on the African continent. So those naysayers can, uh, you know, can go with something else. Football is life over here. So for, for up until 1991, the national soccer team, and now known as Chipolo Polo, which is the copper bullet. But uh, up until 1991, they were called KK11, Kenneth Kaunda 11, right? Uh, KK loved football. I just saw recently on Facebook a letter that he hand wrote well, it was typed, but hand signed by him, written in about late sixties, early seventies, to the either the chairperson of Leicester Football Club or the manager of Leicester Football Club then, wow. who who he had invited to visit Zambia, and to help build you know uh, soccer uh, football infrastructure in the country. So he he really cared about football, uh, you know, really really care about football. You know why Leicester? Quickly, do you know why Leicester of all? That would be interesting. That's an interesting question. I have there's a my a good friend of mine called Hikawa Chipande has uh, who hmm. Sean knows because he he did his PhD. Asked him to write something. We don't want to we don't want to put more pressure on him on air, but we did ask him to write something about this. Yeah, yeah. I mean Hikawa Chipande has written a lot about football during the KK days and what it meant and how possibly KK was maybe using it uh, for uh, political expediency. I maybe. He, he, Chipande could be right, but I also believe KK just loved football. And he saw football as a mechanism to unite the country because KK hated ethnicity, uh, hated this idea of, you know, because man and woman at the center, right? We can't have all these sort of things like tribe, race, caste, all these things divide us. So he saw football as one avenue that would unite the country. So he really loved football, supported the football team, and the team was known as KK11 up until 1991. Grieve, thank you so much for, for joining us. That is a, a great note to end. We've we've got to find out why Leicester Football Club and and nag your friend to finish the piece so we can read more about this. Um, but Again, the foresight, always... of, it's the foresight, it's the foresight. He knows that one day, if, I, if I'm with them now, I train them, yes. I take care of them. <laughs> you know, that Premier League. Yeah, and then I think I think if I'm not mistaken, one of our biggest stars at the mo moment, called Patson Daka, signed up for Leicester. I, oh, he just I, did. I think he just did sign up for Leicester in the last week really? or two. I have to take that. Oh way, no way! I yeah, thought so he was a free agent. I was hoping Tottenham could could get him, but oh, this is <laughs> terrible news. <laughs> he did. He did. Let's go. We gotta go to Hamman Rasman, who's waiting. But you are right. Okay. Time for 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 Leicester. There you go. That's the connection. 
<laughs> uh, 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 vision. They had vision. These leaders, they had vision. Yeah. Thank you so Thanks, much, Reed. We always Bye -bye. appreciate you.